Trinity Spradlin says, anytime I travel, it's always storming. I go to Florida, there's hail. I go to Illinois, there's tornadoes. If I stay home, the weather's perfect. Well, I think the answer's obvious. You ever tried this? Why leave when the weather's perfect? I should go to Florida. Hey, I'll say it again for the first time. Duct tape will fix anything, even the hair that it rips out. Hey you, it's me. I asked you in private, to your face, I mean, what is your problem, okay? And you told me, and so now I'm gonna make life hacks to fix your everyday problems. I am sweaty. It does take a lot of effort to duct tape yourself to a wall. Although when you're done, it makes a pretty sweet jacket. Yeah, this would be my new running jacket. Dommy says, I am addicted to breath mints. Well, I'm addicted to helping. And I think I have the life hack just for you. Yeah, it does stink, huh? <laughs> oh. Dommy, you know there's a study that says if you wanna get rid of a habit, that you have to somehow link massive amounts of pain uh, to the thing that you don't wanna do and massive amounts of pleasure to the thing you do wanna do. So what I'm suggesting is a possible trial by fire in the mouth. It's like walking on fire, but if you walked on your mouth and it was mints and not fire and anything like it. Yeah, it's pretty confusing. I too am addicted to mints, but I'm gonna go ahead and break that just for you. Pop you some dentine ice. That's just for your breath. Pop in a couple cough drops. These are Hall's Mini, but the flavor is biggie. Okay, I should have bought Tupac of them. You're just gonna unload that clip. Just a whole bucket of Alkaloids. Global warming my butt. Holy crap. And once you've swallowed all that, yeah, the gum too, that went somewhere. You're gonna swish this around in your mouth for a bit. <laughs> Ugh. Dommy, that should do it for you. If not, just do that for the next couple days. Boom. You won't have enough money to buy mints after that. Life hack. Hexopolis says my dog loves me far too much and always, always pees out of excitement. He does this with no one else and is completely potty trained. He just can't contain the excitement. I have the life hack for you. My suggestion's super simple. Diaper. I have a baby, I know how to do this. Oh, did I not specify? Yeah, you're gonna put the diaper on yourself. You could also make yourself a little dicky or an ascot. Well, that's where I cut the hole. Now when your dog gets super excited, wants to come pee on you, he can. Then the diaper soaks it up and then your body soaks it up. Eventually you sweat it out. I can't believe I didn't think of this. These also work the other way around. You could pee on him. Consider your problem fixed, okay? Or neutered. Spade, that might help. Space Cadet says, I have a problem. I found five big spiders in my room, three by my desk and two in my bed. <laughs> that's crazy. I can't even. <laughs> Nothing 12 cans of Raid can't asphyxiate. Yup. Oh, yeah, that's gonna really help, okay? Eventually you're gonna inhale enough fumes, you ain't gonna have to worry about those bugs no more. Hardtail Hero says, I've never been able to successfully drink a LaCroix without spilling half of it on my pants, sad. Tears. Hardtail, hate to tell you, but this is an easy fix. I too sometimes dribble my fizzle down my chest tizzle. <laughs> it happens to the best of us, okay? Cheers. If I do dribble my fizzle though, however, I am protected. Oops, it seems as though my hand-eye coordination's a little off from my raid escapade, but luckily my crotch goblet <laughs> caught the rest. But oh no, what a series of unfortunate events. It seems as though my crotch goblet has sprung a leak. Luckily, my meniscus mug is there to catch the rest. Wowee, you've got to be kidding me. It looks as though my meniscus mug has also been compromised. Luckily, I have my toe tumbler down here to catch the rest. And just like that, you'll never whizzle your fizzle any mizzle. Crotch goblet. <laughs> That's funny. It was a pleasure bestowing my knowledge upon you, Hardtail Hero. <gasps> Is your boy, congratulations, says I have a problem with throwing my sandwiches when I get scared. So you get scared, you throw your sandwiches, you don't want to throw your sandwiches. First we have to make a sandwich, so go ahead and throw that heel away. Okay, so I'm sitting down, I'm ready to have the time of my life. <laughs> And I go to take a bite and remember that I forgot to buy 12 cans of Raid for just in case later. <gasps> I see the problem, but I also see the solution, okay? You thought I was gonna use duct tape. Well, you're right, I did. <laughs> Eventually it'll come back down. And then you can go ahead and <laughs> enjoy the rest of your sandwich. Yeah, that way when you get scared, you throw your sandwich. You get it, you saw it. Glad it could help. Zoe says, I somehow seem to keep accidentally dislocating my toes by simply walking. You're what? Oh, I'd talk to the manufacturer, okay? Because <laughs> manufacturing you know, a lot of toes. How are you walking? That's the question. Are you an aspiring ballerina, but you're aggressively bad at it? <laughs> Might I suggest an alternative way of transportation? There's rolling, 
walking on your hands. You could use my duct tape shoe. Yeah, I made a duct tape shoe. Look at this. Patent pending, I call it the duck duck toe. Forget everything you know about steel toe boots, which shouldn't be hard. I know good and well you don't know a thing about them. I made this to be dislocating toe proof. It is, however, not hamstring ripping proof don't lift your leg that high. Say so you come across an attacker, the ground, because apparently your toes are picking fights with everybody, okay? Dislocate this big boy. Do you like that kick head slap combination? I'm man enough to admit when I'm wrong, and now's not one of these times, $29.95. But if you order in the next 15 minutes, I will send you exactly the amount you ordered. Zoe, you are very welcome. I know I helped. Enjoy locating your toes. Laura Gibson, sounds like a made up name. Laura says, Keeping the floors cleaned. I sweep in literally two minutes later, my children dump kinetic sand all over it. Now this works for you too. Yeah, kids love it, man. They love it because you're stuck up here. They can do whatever they want down there. Glad I could help. Girl, every time I go walk, I always trip over air. Every time. Yeah, but are your toes intact? Okay, nothing to complain about. I have a life hack for you. Just vacuum all the air out of the room. Now, whenever you walk into that room, you ain't gonna be tripping on anything. You and Zoe should get together. She has problems with her feet too. Whoa, hold on, I'll do the inhale real quick. I'm gonna step out of the room and inhale real quick before I pass out. One second, please. <laughs> Emily says, apparently I can't wear a sword through my belt loop and walk around the house without getting weird looks. The blade needed to be cleaned and I didn't want to set it down, so I did the next best thing. And it looks like confusion for it. Hold on one second. Boy, I guess the air is it. Oh, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> a sword, you say? Yes. I have to unsheath my sheath sword to unsheath my sword. So you're walking around and people are looking at you weird and you're the one holding a sword. Yeah, I, I think you know where I'm going with this. Just make a duct tape sword so people think you're arts and craftsy and not medieval and stabby. Come here, Grandma. <laughs> Problem solved, crisis averted, sword wrapped in duct tape. Duct tape fixes everything. I know, I heard what I said too. Shut up. Nevea Fontenant? Okay, now that's a made up name. Is this Laura? Laura, are you pulling my toes off again? Are you dislocating my toes? That's a saying, shut up. No matter how hard I try to train him, my dog keeps biting my shorts. Nevea, have you considered biting his shorts? What up, dog? Yeah, the shorts are made of duct tape. I don't know why you let your homies bite your shorts anyway. Don't let your dizzles bite your shizzles, <laughs> okay? Fading Moon says, hearing people breathe or chewing something, that's all I'm gonna say. So you're saying you don't like it if I did say something like this. I don't know how you didn't see the duct tape coming. Every bit has had duct tape in it. Arrow, I can never finish a drink no matter how good it is. I always leave some in there. Ah, a duct tapeless idea here. Arrow, easy fix. This one involves a little bit of gamification, okay? Or as the cool kids say, gizzle my fizzles. <laughs> I think, I don't know. I just popped open a sweet, sweet LaCroix. It's my third one today. I know I'm not gonna finish it, I'm full. But as I'm sure you can relate, my mama always taught me if I don't finish what's in my can, then a tiny little man is gonna come eat my hand. <laughs> and I don't want that, no one does. Absolutely no one does. So here's my solution. You're a little bit against the clock here, but you drink as much as you want and eventually, that can's empty. No man's eating your hand. Protect your toes too, who knows? And just like that, I've drank all my LaCroix, like a good boy. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, where did the rest of it go? <laughs> well, right down here, my patented toe tumbler, of course, made out of duct tape. And then from here, it just siphons into your crotch goblet, <laughs> which is also made of duct tape. Steven Ulrich says, uh, the current batch of Cheerios I just ate tore up the roof of my mouth. Steven, I have the idea for you. This is what I use. You're just gonna wanna line the roof of your mouth with aluminum foil. So now you have your mold, so now you're just gonna duct tape that in your mouth. Enjoy your cereal, 